You know, I figured I spend most of my time at my desk, so I'm gonna need a comfortable chair, something that won't break my back. This is not it. See this brand? Is it backwards for you? No, you can see it. Don't fucking buy this. For a while now, I wanted to buy one of these sit-stand desks and I just haven't had the funds. But recently, I dipped into my college fund and I bought this Prime Cables Electric Adjustable Height Standing Sit-Stand Two-Stage Telescopic Single Mo- <sighs> It's- it's an adjust- it's a sit-stand desk. I don't know what you want from me. It's this really cool, like, black metal frame sit-stand desk. I got it from, uh, Prime Cables, or it, I got it from Amazon, but it's from Prime Cables. They're, like, a brand that makes all sorts of shit. Like, they have a bunch of different sit-stand desks and, like, actual normal desks. They have a bunch of cable organizers and a bunch of shit like that. This thing ran me about $350 Canadian, so it's probably gonna be, like, $20 American, something like that. I don't know. I think my dog just fell down the stairs. Nah, she's fine. This thing is like super high quality and honestly, I'm a really big fan of it. I've been using it for about like two or three weeks. This thing is honestly like super high quality and I'm actually really impressed. I thought it was gonna be a little like cheaper quality considering, I don't know, a lot of these desks cost like $500, but I'm honestly really impressed with how I guess sturdy and everything this desk is. So I recorded me putting it together and honestly, that wasn't very difficult either. Like the instructions were clear and it gave you all the tools that you need. Only thing is, it weighs a fucking ton. Like this thing is super heavy. Like putting this together, you can probably do by yourself, but once you set it up and try to attach it to your desk, you're definitely gonna need like one or two people. This is a really heavy duty frame. This frame is really like... It's a heavy duty frame. I took a video of me installing this. Uh, if you see me talking to myself, I'm not, I promise. I was on the phone with my friends while I was putting this thing together. So here's the time lapse of me putting this shit together. I didn't get to film me putting my desktop on it and drilling everything together because obviously I recorded with my webcam, which is attached to my PC, which had to come off the table. So it is what it is. So first thing on hand, we got my uh, trusty eggplant stress ball, but I realized that probably wouldn't help me open the box. So instead I grabbed my, uh, CSGO Amazon Karambit. There's me throwing away the instructions because I'm a dumbass and thought I didn't need them uh, and I ended up fucking up the build. This is this is what I mean by me throwing away the instructions and fucking up. I'm looking at the freaking wrong paper right now, which is why, as you can see, I'm putting on the feet of the desk backwards and I will continue to put the thing backwards until it's completely together and then have to take it apart and fix it because I am stupid. But I thought it was a good idea because I'm building a rocking chair apparently. They gave me a screwdriver, but I decided to use my hands instead because I'm big brain. I'm not gonna lie, this took me like a good 10 minutes to figure out how to use. This is the lifting mechanism and I was tripping out for so long on how to use this. I also couldn't figure out which way this bar thing was supposed to go, so I just mess around with it until it kind of fits. Now I'm just screwing in the leg that uh, actually has the motor built into it onto the rest of the base so that the chair can actually lift. I still have to install the uh, the lifting mechanism though, I haven't haven't done that yet by this point. Uh, it, it's just like that big rod that I was fidgeting with trying to figure out how to work. And yeah, there you go. Solid desk, solid frame. I just want to show you guys how ghetto this setup I have over here is. I don't have a tripod, so instead I just... That's my phone right there. We're, we're, we're struggling out here. Oh wow, would you look at that? Another shirt, whoop de fucking do <coughs> Oh fuck! So OBS hasn't been, uh, hasn't been treating me very well. I swear to God, if I have to switch back to bandy cam. Anyways, you guys aren't here for my rant. You're here for the desk. This top quality desk. So obviously I've been doing a lot of work and playing games standing up since I got this thing. But honestly for work, I find myself a lot more kind of centered and focused when I'm standing up. Honestly, that sounds like complete bullshit now that I'm listening back to it, but honestly it's kind of true. Even playing games, I find that my aim is a lot better standing up. Also, I think that might have a big part to do with the way I sit. Also standing up, playing games and doing work, I find it a lot easier to like, I don't know, access things. Like sitting down if I wanted to get something from the other side of my room. Like, it wasn't hard. I was just a lazy piece of shit. But now it's like, I'm already standing up. Let me just go grab my, my trusty African drum, right? I don't have to just wheel the fucking chair across the room. By the way, the wheels don't fucking work either. I tried to include some gameplay showing how, uh, I guess how I played when uh, standing up. Turns out that was a really bad idea because I chose to record Valorant and uh, sitting down or standing up, I'm shit at that game. Are you fucking kidding me? Brimstone's camping in the corner. I fucking hate this game. 
fucking I'm supposed to get good footage But no honestly this desk is really good and I feel like it's really actually helping my posture But because I'm flat-footed standing up a lot has actually helped me so much before I would spend like 90% of my day sitting in this chair And it really made me feel like brand from fucking Game of Thrones This desk was a really really good investment and I think it's gonna save me a lot of like back pain and shit like in the future I don't want to be walking like this and I think this desk is gonna actually have a large impact on that I also find myself standing up like not all the time, but I want to say a good like 40% of the time just because I don't know It feels a lot more natural to play games standing up Also, like I said, I find my accuracy is better Which I really need when playing games like Valorant, which I'm already fucking shit at the only time I feel like I really need to sit down is when I'm writing something um, Even then it's pretty good standing up because the table is The desk is adjustable so I can really set it to any height that I need for it to be comfortable for me to write something But I do just find it more comfortable to sit down and write shit, but overall I think I prefer standing um, Than sitting not just because it's saving me years of arthritis, but I don't know It just feels a lot more comfortable and a lot more natural if you're flat-footed or maybe have back pain or something I definitely recommend this thing, but yeah overall honestly this desk I would definitely buy it again I mean, I hope I don't have to because I have no money But I definitely would look into getting this if this is something that you want. I would give this desk a solid Where's my maraca hold on But honestly, I'd probably give this desk like maybe 8.5 out of 10. It's really good The only thing is I wish it could kind of carry a bigger tabletop right now i'm using the ikea carl the uh it's like it's a countertop basically and this one's already really big like it's it's like still a little bit more than my arms but they did have a bigger size that i wanted to get but it wouldn't support this frame and i couldn't really find a frame that would fit the desk unless i bought like a 600 hundred dollar frame which no i think the main negative that i would say about this desk is i find myself stubbing my toe a lot the legs are kind of like i don't know they kind of poke out a little bit so when i'm standing up and i get angry at a game i'll tend to just walk away and stub my toe on the fucking leg once again not really a problem with the desk more me just being handicapped but yeah uh overall the desk is really amazing it has great build quality but it's it's super it's super well built it comes with some nice cable managing stuff in there um and it's great. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope I kind of helped you guys if you were on the fence about buying one of these sit-stand desks. Highly recommended. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. If you like this certain type of video, let me know. Maybe I'll make more. I got some stuff I can review. Got this water bottle. Got this shitty phone that doesn't work. That probably broke. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.